If you ever heard the phrase, don't hate me because I'm beautiful, that you just found the person it originated from, Kelly LeBrock's pictures flooded Vogue magazines and several commercials throughout the 1980s. Many ladies wanted to be just like her and almost every man wanted to date her. But this captivating model and actress had eyes for only one person, Stephen Siegel. Even though they ended up getting married, their fairy tale marriage crashed 10 years later. This video uncovers the truth about Kelly LeBrock's marriage to Steven Siegel and the unfortunate events that unfolded when things got sour. How it all started. Steven Siegel and Kelly LeBrock were both doing exploits in their respective careers before they met. Siegel was working as a martial artist and actor, while LeBrock was working as a model and actress. Interestingly, they had both gotten married to other people in the early years of their careers, but their first marriages didn't work. During the period, LeBrock was making waves in Hollywood, and she was said to be one of the sexiest women in Hollywood as she appeared in popular magazines and movies like Weird Science. Siegel, on the other hand, just moved back to the U.S. from Japan to focus on his acting career, and he was working on his first significant film project, Above the Law. They were both loved by their fans, and they were seen as gems in the Hollywood space before they met and decided to get into a relationship. LeBrock and Siegel originally met during a trip to Japan in 1987. Siegel was in Japan visiting his ex-wife and children, while LeBrock was shooting a 24-page feature for American Vogue. Her publicist introduced them to each other, but LeBrock had no intentions of dating him initially. After speaking over the phone for several days, they finally met. LeBrock instantly changed her mind about him when they met face to face. According to her, he was tall and highly attractive. On top of all that, he seemed to be good at everything. She fell for him almost immediately and they started dating. It was clear that they both adored each other. Their relationship progressed very quickly and by September 1987, they got married. Shortly after the wedding, LeBrock took a break from acting to focus on her new family. On the surface, it seemed like their marriage was going to stand the test of time. Unfortunately, LeBrock and Siegel didn't remain the it couple for too long. Their picture-perfect marriage crumbled decades later. Their fairy tale marriage crashed. There was something beautiful about two of Hollywood's hot stars being married to each other. Their fans couldn't get enough of their cute family pictures, and their marriage truly looked like a match made in heaven. After giving birth to their first two children, Annalisa and Dominic, LeBrock returned to Hollywood. She appeared with her husband in the 1990 action thriller film Hard to Kill and several other films after that. While people were applauding them for their roles in films, no one knew they were having marital issues. The truth finally came out in 1996 when LeBrock filed for a divorce, a few years after their third child was born. As expected, the news about their divorce came as a shock to several people, especially their fans and well-wishers. No one saw it coming except them, and people desperately wanted to know what ended their beautiful marriage. Regardless of the influx of questions and interview invites they got, they both didn't address the cause of their divorce in public. The only thing that was revealed was that Lebrock filed for a divorce due to irreconcilable differences. There was clearly more to their divorce than she mentioned. Unlike the beginning of their marriage, their divorce was chaotic. There were several rumors circulating about their divorce, and the highly publicized nature of the divorce made it even more difficult for Kelly LeBrock. When the divorce was finalized, it was like LeBrock disappeared from the surface of the earth. She even decided to stop acting completely. She left Hollywood. People who knew the passion that LeBrock had for acting never thought for a single day that she was going to quit acting. But something changed after she separated from Siegel. Every move she made showed that she didn't want to be part of the celebrity life anymore. At that point, she was more concerned about raising her children the right way and surrounding herself with people who truly cared about her in real life. In a later interview with DailyMail.com, she made certain revelations about the events that led up to the divorce and the decisions she made after they split. She claimed she suffered a life-altering incident at the hands of Siegel in 1988, and she detailed the incident in her memoir, which she was working on at the time. LeBrock also revealed that her life changed after their divorce, and she had to make certain decisions that would benefit her in the long run. In her words, I admit, I became a hermit. When I split with Stephen, the divorce was very ugly, and the details of the case were on the evening news. I didn't want my kids to see it, so I simply got rid of the TV. I moved my kids out of LA, so they could grow up with real people, the kids of gas pump attendants, plumbers, and real family people. She also revealed that she was never really interested in the celebrity lifestyle. She had always been a family-oriented person. All these fueled her decision to leave Hollywood behind 
as she moved with her family to a ranch in California's Santa Ynez Valley. She lived in fear after the divorce. The effects of their chaotic divorce were not as short-lived as people thought. Apart from leaving her acting career behind, LeBrock suffered the long-term effects of the divorce. She claimed that changing her location didn't fix the struggles she was experiencing on the inside. Kelly later revealed that she lost her self-esteem after the breakup and she hated herself. She also revealed that she lived in fear for several years and she didn't even want to leave her um house. This version of her sounds very different from the version of her that her fans were used to. LeBrock went from being an outgoing and confident star to becoming a shadow of herself. Thankfully, she was able to able to recover from the effects of a divorce as time went by. Several years after the dust had settled, LeBrock's name began to fill media reports as several women started opening up about their shocking experiences with her ex-husband, Steven Siegel. Shocking revelations about Steven Siegel. Over the years, Steven Siegel has been accused of alleged sexual misconduct. The first allegation was made in 1993 and the other was made in 2002. Over 11 women have spoken up about their experiences with him and their revelations are truly worrisome. Some of these women were his former employees, while some were actresses. The allegations seemed unbelievable until actresses like Jenny McCarthy and Juliana Margulies spoke about their personal experiences with him as well. The fact that several women were saying the same things about him made it difficult for people not to believe. But as believable as these accusations were, no charges were brought against the actor because the cases fell outside the statute of limitations. However, the series of accusations made against the actor has sparked several questions about his marriage to LeBrock. After several years of intentional silence on the matter, Kelly LeBrock spoke about her ex-husband in a 2021 interview. The Law of the Wade interview. At 60, LeBrock finally decided to share her opinions about her ex-husband. She clarified that she felt sorry for him as she suggested that his childhood influenced the man he became. In her words, I think that he is just a very sad person, and he is what I would call a tragedy of Hollywood. I believe he was very bullied as a child, very sickly, very weak, and I guess people who are treated that way as children end up becoming lost as they age. I wish him all the best. Her plans for the future. After being off screens for several years, Kelly LeBrock made her most recent appearances in the 2021 film Charlie Boy, Tomorrow's Today. People have been wondering if she plans to return to Hollywood full-time. According to her, she is not sure if she wants to return to Hollywood yet. She is more focused on her family. She enjoys her life and is more interested in getting married and spending time with the people she loves. Which facts about Kelly LeBrock caught your interest the most? Let us know in the comments section below and check out the next video in this series.